ladies and gentlemen, on this Friday night here in Brownstown, Illinois, race fans, it's showtime! Green flag in the air, it'll be Darren Klein from the inside of the front row. Klein will go to the race lead here in 10. Everybody trying to figure out where their car sets up the best. Klein, though, going to lead lap one in 10. Klein looking good across the bottom. Right there with Tanner English and Devin McLean having a good run up there. Here they come off turn four. Tanner English working around the outside of the 10 car. Darren Klein trying to steal that race lead here. Now the back straight away just still climbing for the moment. Tanner English going to roll around the top side of the 96. I told you that top side was going to blow in here pretty quickly. Turbo's coming right with him in the one. Well, we got a new leader up there in the 96 of English now out front of Darren Klein. Here comes Turbo. He's got the top side rolling. He's to the outside of Darren Klein. Well, he's going to dive in the corner a little bit. He's looking to go to the bottom. Into turn number three. Turbo onto the east side of Darren Klein for the second spot. He's still Klein there. Turbo in third. And Fager fourth. Harrison fifth. Good racing here behind your least race leader. Tanner English with an eight tenths of a second advantage. 0.788 to be exact. The last time by for the 96 as they have a wheel. The wheel for that second spot. Give it to Urban one. Still Tanner English, Tyler Herb, Darren Klein, the top three, Jason Fager, Mike Harrison. Then it is the eighth of Dylan McCowan, the 33 of Devin McLean, 52 of Matt Bailey, Ryan Unzicker, last night's winner night, Trevor Gundaker rounding out the top ten battle for the lead. Turbo to the lead. As he sneaks by Tanner English coming off turn number four. Turbo out there in front with Tanner English in second. Darren Klein still right there in that third spot. Well, as you said that, Ryan Unziger snuck past the 24 of Mike Harrison to take over that number five slot. Harrison slips to six. Unziger started inside of the 11th row, or inside of the sixth row in 11th, and he is rolling forward here inside the top five. He just went by Fager now. Ryan Unziger's faster lap times than everybody, including your leader right now in 24. Actually, Tanner English is solid second, and then it's Klein, but keep an eye on Unziger and Fager as they are three wide outside of the top two. The battle continues on to those, for that third, fourth, and fifth spot over there. They were three wide for a moment through three and four. We've got Klein all the way to the top side now. Unziker! He takes over the third spot for 24, Ryan Unzicker. Took the lead from the outside of the third row, and he is rolling away to a potential fifth victory on the Hell Tour. Into turn number three, out of turn number four, green to checker. Turbo wins for the fifth time on tour in one. Turbo Tyler Herb. I, I, can, I can race these guys clean. I, you know, I left Klein a lane there in the heat race, and uh, he was able to beat us. His car's been good, and uh, in the feature, just uh, you know, that's where it, that's where it pays. So, I definitely uh, just went as hard as I could for 40 laps, and uh, you know, dogged on it really as as much as I possibly could. And then uh, Cody showed me I had a pretty good lead there. So then I started uh, tinkering around in one and two, and just making sure I didn't wreck in three and four. But uh, yeah, just hats off to my guys. You know, it's uh, this stuff. This deal's tough. It's hot, and. Uh, they don't give up. They uh, they get frustrated probably more than I do just because it's, uh, it's so much work. But yeah, that was uh, that's about as good as this thing could be in those conditions. So just got to give a massive shout out to uh, Cody Carl, Blade Kearns, Race Ranch, Aaron following us around. His dad's here. Uh, my girlfriend, Gabby, she's awesome. Um, you know, just everybody we got, Tommy at Multifire, and then just uh, for sure all my sponsors, Eric Brock at Best Performance. Uh, he was, he was kind of trying to pump me up after the last two nights. But uh, yeah, just everybody at Best Performance, Langenfelder Mechanical, Mark called me today, kind of pumped me up. Uh, Anthony's Pizza, my buddy Steven Roberts is here with RBC. He does uh, so much for us. Sunoco Race Fuels, KBC Graphics, Midwest Sheet Metal, um, JRR Truck and my man Chris, my buddy Scooter at Sandy Weld, um, Go Lithium Doug, definitely. Once again, Integra Shocks, uh, Rocket Chassis, uh, it's just got a good good fit for what I want to do and what I like to do and uh, you know even the last two days we didn't win it's still the fun tour and uh, you know I don't I don't plan on stopping anytime soon yeah I mean I, I never ran Hill Tour before and uh, you know I've always had like I said this takes a lot of money and a lot of uh, support and you know I've been fortunate enough to have people my mom at first class septic I don't think I said her she's watching for sure she's uh you know she's definitely my biggest fan my best friend and uh, just everybody that's ever helped me you know they they wanted me to race and you know go to run Lucas, Outlaws, all these things. And, uh, 
you know, I, I've done it. I've got the T-shirt. I can say I did it. And, uh, you know, what we've got going on this year just, uh, you know, it, it makes me feel good. It makes everybody feel good. And, and winning is a uh, – that's really the most important thing. Like I, I could care less, you know, if it paid a hundred dollars a night, especially after the last two nights, it's just, uh, you know, I like to win and I like, uh, you know, I like competing and you never know where we're going to pop up.